Hi guys, it's Mr. Holding here. Um, this video is about karyotyping um, and we'll go through how to do it and see what we can do. So basically a karyotype is a photograph of the chromosomes arranged according to a standard classification. So um, through a, um, a complex, pro well, not that complex, but a process, you, it's possible to stain um, the chromosomes in a cell and you get a picture that looks like this over here. Now a karyotype is taking this mess and jumbled up bunch of chromosomes and arranging them so that they're in homologous pairs. So you can see here that they're um, arranged from chromosome 1, which is the biggest, to chromosome 22, which is the smallest, and then we have X and Y here, which are the sex chromosomes. So in humans, we've got our 22 autosomes and our one pair of, or a 23rd set of um, sex chromosomes. Okay, if we look here, this is a little activity that you're going to do, and this is essentially what they have to do in um, karyotyping. So the process is, this one's already been done for you, they separate them. You'd, in the olden days, they used to get a slide, um, print them off, and then cut them up into little pieces, and then they have to you stick them together. So we might look, we might start for the biggest ones here, and I think that one probably looks like that. Nope, maybe it's the next one. There you go, those two are a match, so I would assume that these ones are here. And you can start to look at the banding, so you go dark and dark, light and light, dark and dark, light and light, dark and dark. So you can see the bands roughly match, you can see the centromeres are closely related, um, and they're about the same size. So we could start here and start trying to pair up small ones. Okay, and so that leaves one left there. Now, if we look down here, we've got our X. We end up with a situation here. So we've got our X here and our Y here. So that would mean that this is a male. All right. Uh, we know because they've got two separate here. They're not the same. So we've got an X and a Y chromosome. If it was a female, you'd have two large X ones. Okay, so moving on. Basically, in other words, chromosomes are digitally arranged so they are matched with their, I'll move this out of the way for you, homologue or their partner chromosome. Okay, homologue chromosomes are the same size, shape, and carry the same genes. Uh, they also have that matching um, centromere, okay, and one is inherited from each parent, and they are numbered according to size. So the number one chromosome is the biggest, the number 22 in humans is the smallest, and then we have the sex chromosomes after that. Okay, so this karyotype has 23 exact pairs, which means they are female. So we have a look through them all. If you've all, if you've got them and you can't work out whether it's a male or female, if you sort them all and there's 23 exactly matching pairs, you know it's a female because the two X's match. Okay, so we can see that here. All right, um, in this case, you can see X and Y, so therefore it's a male. In this case, you've got two X's, so it's a female. Try and get out of the way here. Okay, so in this case, um, we have a look here, and you can see that there are three 21s. Okay, there's an X and a Y, and there's three 21s. And this condition is known as trisomy 21 or Down syndrome. Okay, and I'm sure you would have heard um, of Down syndrome before. It has um, uh, uh, developmental disorders, okay, um, there's some people with Down syndrome there, okay, and basically the correlation between mother's age and trisomy 21 is it actually increases with age, so uh, for a mother who's 20, whoops, um, it's one in almost 2,000, whereas up when you get above 35, it increases dramatically, so I suppose um, that does unfortunately have ramifications for mothers, and unfortunately it's the mother uh, in this case, mothers who choose to have families after 35. Now in our society, you can look and go, well, a lot of people are starting to choose, have, choose to have families in their 30s, um, and you can see unfortunately that there's, there are ramifications, which is why we're seeing an increase in certain um, genetic conditions like Down syndrome. Okay, another one, monosomy X, or a single X here, that's known as Turner's syndrome, 
all right? Um, and they're at, they're in the absence of another X or another Y, um, and it's a female because the X determines that, but they're missing some genetic information there. Um, XXY is known as Kienfelter's syndrome, okay? And in this case, there's two Xs and a Y, um, and this would be expressed as a male because there's a male, but there are obviously issues there as well. Um, and this is how they are formed. All right, so basically, guys, that's how um, a, a karyotype is done. Um, I hope you found this useful.